Hey, welcome back everybody. It's great to be with you. As you can see, beautiful sunny day here at Belmont Abbey College. Um, I guess what's on my mind most is actually tomorrow, uh, which is September 11th. And being from New York, I mean, my parents lived down in Battery Park City. I, I had spent a lot of my time around the World Trade Centers and so forth. And I, and I can tell you that the day that that happened, uh, I remember exactly where I was. Uh, I was leaving for, for work early in the morning. I was getting in the car saying goodbye to my family and children. And the radio was on and it talked about the plane flying into the World Trade Center. And uh, for some reason, I th we didn't think it was an accident. So I got out of the car, we went back in, turned on the set and, and just watched in horror. And I can tell you to this day, I still can't um, by the way, there's a plane flying over us right now, so you know, how much more real can you make it for me and for us? Uh, it, was, it was just traumatic uh, to witness that, and uh, I, I can never be grateful enough for those individuals that uh, risked their lives and gave their lives uh, to try to save others. Uh, one of our students, one of our alumni of the college, alumnus, uh, Jimmy Riches uh, was a firefighter in New York and he actually died uh, trying to save people in the World Trade Center. Um, so it's really, it, it hits home here in a special way at Belmont Abbey College. I know our students in 2002 did a special tribute. You know, here we are, you know, 20 years uh, after, after the fact and it's remarkable that some of our students obviously weren't even born at the time that this happened. So it's something that I hope that we'll remember and that we'll keep those families uh, their sacrifice continues to this day, and so I hope that we can remember in our daily prayers to, uh, for their good intentions, for, for that God will watch over and give them special graces uh, as they continue to live with the horror and the tragedy of what happened at, uh, on that terrible day uh, on, on September 11th. So please keep everybody in mind that to me is a, it, it's nothing else I could say today will we'll touch that. Uh, so this has been something that means a lot to me and I hope it does to you as well. Um, as far as the college goes, we're, we're continuing to do extraordinarily well. Uh, our COVID cases are pretty much down. I think we have about nine positive cases. Those people are isolating off campus. We have about 10 people quarantining. Um, so it's very manageable at this point. I think it's because everybody here is really doing a great job trying to, you know, wear masks when appropriate and so forth. And um, it, it's, it's been a challenge, but it's been something that we've done together and it's something that I just want to thank everybody for all their good work and I just have great gratitude uh, for the sacrifice everybody here has made to, to keep us where we are today in person. Athletics is going super well. Um, for so, some of you uh, alumni who may be watching this, you remember we had such great rivalries with Queens University, the men's soccer team in one of their first games. Uh, beat Queens uh, three to one. So that was a, a great victory on that day. Women's field hockey, I know, just uh, defeated Converse in their uh, season opener. I think they won three one. Um, so athletics is moving along. We're participating. Life is good in that regard. Um, we have the Lilly Fellows uh, Symposium or conference uh, on campus uh, today and tomorrow. Uh, really timely. You know, the topic is on humanistic atheism and uh, not only to better understand it and its impact on our culture and society, but hopefully, you know, what can we do to sort of counter that in our, in our own lives, in our own ways. And uh, couldn't think of anything more important for us to be dealing with given the influence right now that uh, as you go into the public square, it is actually almost forbidden uh, for you to have any mention or, uh, you know, allegiance or, or love of God or faith. Uh, you're called to go into that with this kind of secular atheism, which obviously we refuse to do. Uh, we have every right to be in the public square and we're going to do what it takes to defend that and to be a voice there. Somebody who's atheist has all the voice, they can have their voice in the public square, but I want us to have our voice as equally strong. Uh, and I think the argument we make is even more compelling, obviously. So uh, that's, a, that's a great conference that's happening here. That's uh, Dr. Joe Wysocka, the director of the Honors College, who's uh, leading that effort. And I just thank the Lilies Fellows for uh, helping to support this, this program here this weekend. Uh, the uh, NCA has a lot going on. They're doing a constitution convention, uh, which is actually looking at maybe redoing possibly the entire constitution of the NCA. I think much of this has been brought to a head by the name image likeness issues and lawsuits and so forth that have come up. Uh, so we'll see where that goes. Um, 
Other than that, the silent phase of the capital campaign is really going really, really well. Uh, we're, we're really doing very well, and I'm hopeful in the next uh, 12 months we'll announce the public phase, and hopefully that'll be a time of great excitement when you start to hear some of the numbers that we're, we're talking about. I don't want to give it away today, but I'll just let you know we're working on it and it's, and it's going well. Um, other than that, you know, life is good. Students are doing well, classes are going well, activities are, are well underway. And uh, again, I'll just finish with how I started. Uh, please keep all those uh, victims of 9-11 of and their families in your prayers, as I will. And uh, hope to see you around campus sometime soon. Take care and God bless.